Hey there, guys. It's Rick Utzer here with Ergon Webb for Ergon Week, and we're going to jump right in to the SWA 20-gauge air shotgun. This is the 27-inch barrel version. They have an 8-inch barrel, a 15-inch barrel, and then the 27. If you want to shoot shot, this is the one you want. Both the 15 and the 27, you can use chokes in them. So this has got an extra full choke, but you can go modified. It ships with an improved cylinder choke and a rifle choke. So if you want to shoot slugs, you can do that. And you know, we've done a lot of videos just focusing on the slugs. Today, I wanted to show you guys what this thing can do with some shot. So I've got some number four steel shot here. I'm gonna show you how to load the magazines. We're gonna talk about some of the particulars about this particular gun. And then we're gonna, of course, shoot it. We've got a target sitting at 25 yards, kind of give you guys an idea of what the pattern would be like out of something like this. So let me real quick show you how to go ahead and load this up. I'm gonna just lay this down here and I'm gonna load it up on top of this. Hopefully that'll work out okay. So you get a two shot magazine and what you're gonna wanna do, where's my little plunger? There it is. Um, you're gonna take your 20 gauge nitro wad and you're gonna drop one of these in each of the holes like that. Okay, now these ship a little shot cup. I'm doing one ounce loads, but the shot cup is adjustable. So if you want a little bit less, a little bit more, you can go ahead and load up what you want. Okay, so a typical one ounce load goes at about 700 and some change feet per second, depending on where you are in your shot. So sometimes the first one may be a little faster, sometimes the second one may be a little faster, but you're gonna be over 700 feet per second, which is cruising pretty good. All right. All right, with that loaded, now we're gonna go ahead and shoot it. Now the way this magazine system works, let me make sure the safety's on, um, is, there it is, it locks right into place, slide it in, to go to the next shot, you pull forward on the release, and it indexes to the next piece. It, it is manual, and then this is your cocking lever, and it's connected to the hammer, so when you cock this back, it stays back, when you pull the trigger, this whole thing slides forward. It does have a fairly significant cocking force um, just because the hammer spring is very, very powerful. Okay, let's go ahead and take a shot here. All right, now I sighted this in a little bit earlier, uh, just standing up and shooting it. So hopefully we're gonna be good to go here. I'm using a Hawk Red Dot. It looks pretty good. May, I don't know, it looks like it might be a little bit left to right, but we're gonna see how it goes here. All right, so I think we're ready to roll here. All right, so it's cocked, safety's off. Here we go. Okay, so it looks like I might be a little bit high left. Just, I'm using the Hawk Red Dot, which works pretty good for me for this type of stuff. So I'm gonna go down a little bit and I'm gonna bring it to the right a little bit. Okay. Oh, other way. Oh yeah, that looks better. Okay, so before I cock it, I'm gonna slide my mag over, and here we go. Yeah, that peppered it really, really good. Okay, so you're seeing we're getting some really good coverage. That's a pretty tight pattern, probably about like, whoops, probably about like that at 25 yards. As you stretch out, Obviously it's gonna get wider, and if you're up closer, it's gonna be more narrow. So if you're gonna be shooting past 25 yards, you definitely wanna run the extra full choke, which is what we're running here. If you wanted to shoot closer, like rabbits and squirrels running around, you may wanna consider like the 15 inch and just running either the cylinder choke or the modified or something like that, because you may want it to spread a little bit more quickly than say the extra full would. Um, you get two shots. Well, you can usually get three shots, but I, I usually, after two shots, I top this off. One of the things I wanted to show you guys, and real quick, I'm gonna go grab a bottle, I'll be right back. Okay, so 
I'm usually filling mine, my, my SWA here, up to about 3,200 PSI, and I'll get three good shots. If I take a fourth shot, it will often just dump the whole system, so there's no air left. At that point, in order to, to get it to fill again, if I'm using a little portable compressor, there's not enough volume to actually seat the valve, so you can't actually fill it, it's kind of a pain. So what we do is, I always have a little bottle with me. The bottle will move enough volume to actually get the valve to seat, and then you can go back to topping it off with your little personal compressor. So those shots, um, those two shots we used about 1200 PSI, so I definitely would have been able to go a, th a third shot. I'm gonna go ahead and just top this off again. And what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and replace that target and just do one more series of shots here. Okay. All right, so we're all topped off and we'll go replace that target and we'll shoot it a couple more times here. All right, so we've got a fresh target up there I'm gonna load a little more shot. So instead of one ounce, I'm gonna go an ounce and an eighth. And that'll be just a little bit extra gas in the tank here, as far as the physical volume of shot going down range. Now I'm using um, number four shot, but you can use whatever you want. You can use five, six, eight, you can use buckshot. Um, there are some round ball. You can actually buy 20 gauge round ball, which will stack two of those in here. You would use the rifle choke with that. And those are actually really fun to shoot too. All right, and effective. It's not just fun, I mean, it's actually effective. If you wanted to hunt with something, uh, double round ball is not a bad way to go. Okay, all right. So now I'm running an ounce and an eighth. And let's, uh, let's see what we can get done here. All right. Oops. Yeah, that was a nice pattern. So a little bit more shot and I did adjust my scope just a little bit, came down a little bit and to the right just a little bit more. Let's hit it another time here. Yeah, that's solid. I mean, that is solid on. You know, I think, you know, I think that really testifies to what you could probably get done with this gun. If you're hunting rabbit, you're hunting quail, you're hunting dove, even dove on the wing, which I know a lot of people like this for that. It's a really fun gun to shoot. With the red dot, if you see the dot, you put the dot on whatever you want to hit and you're gonna blow it away, which is pretty stinking awesome. You know, guys, this is a very, very cool air gun. If you want to know more about it, check out the video description down below and I'll have all the links there. My name is Rick Utsu here with Airgun Web, another cool video for Airgun Week. Thanks for watching.